morning. Welcome to Village in Motion. This morning we have a call-in show with Chef Michael Ritt. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, good morning. How are you today? I'm real good. Uh, this morning we're going to, first I want to give you our call-in number. Uh, it is 703-663-3330. But before we accept calls, we have a short video to show you this morning. We're doing a series of videos, Michael is, that is promoting each one of our dining venues. Correct, correct. And this one is on the Potomac Cafe. Absolutely. And we filmed it last week, and we're going to With show... With yours truly. Yes, right. <laughs> we had a good time. And we're going to be showing that first this morning, okay, awesome. and then we'll be accepting your calls with questions and comments about dining services. Absolutely. So without further ado, we will start that video and we'll see what we see. Good afternoon everybody, Chef Michael here. I'm joined by Susan Gerhard and Penny Lanfear from the Potomac Cafe. And we're going to introduce one of our new salads that you'll be seeing coming up in the future. Um, I know you're a big fan of the cafe and dine here yeah, often. I'm a huge, so. huge fan of salads. So I know you are. Good. So this is just one of the new items. Obviously, we're going to introduce some new uh, items. You'll see specials and sandwiches. Once we're done the dish program and we bring back the flatware and the glassware and, and the plateware, that you'll see some new items. Um, so, you know, we've brought back the Reuben. We've brought back the gyro. A lot of this is by, you know, resident comment cards. Every time the residents say, oh, you don't read the comment cards. Actually, we do, and we read them in groups. We read them individually in the venues, but they play a big part on what we do. We see, you know, if we see similarities like, oh, we haven't had, this is a great example. Let's slow, down, let's slow down one second. Absolutely. You said we brought back the Reuben, we brought back the gyro. Yes. Those are lunchtime sandwiches. Absolutely. So if you're a fan of, of gyros and Reuben sandwiches, come join on us for down lunch in the cafe. The, right now, the Reuben's on Monday and the gyro is on Friday. And if you look at your printed menu, you will see that we have a new section on the menu that lists our lunchtime specials. Absolutely. That was another thing that residents asked for is that we don't get enough information on the cafe. So Corey did a great job oh, on the menu and uh, he formulated it. So now a lot of the cafe information you will see there. They were saying, well, we see what the entrees are, but we don't know what the sides are. So we formulated it, Corey formulated it, and now you'll have all that information there. So that's, that's a great thing. So we're going to go through the salad today and I'm going to go through all the little parts of it. We're going to start off with a little just romaine salad mix. So lots of good dark green vegetables. Yeah, and, this, and you know, we're going in the summertime, so this is definitely a, a, a huge hit. And now you're adding spinach. Spinach and some olives. I have some red onions. I have some feta cheese. I'm going to put a little in because I love cheese. This salad will be pre-prepared. Correct. So it's not a salad that we can say, oh, I want this or I want that in it. It will be a salad that I say I want the cafe market salad. Correct. And this is what I will receive. Absolutely. Okay. So now I put some pecans in there and I put some raisins in there. We're going to mix it up. I'm going to cut that up and put it on. So I'm just going to try to put this on. And it is. It's it's a great salad for the. You know, we're going into for the spring and summer. Oh yeah, and you know, we're going into the summer. You know, yesterday at the Jefferson, um, they did this strawberry soup, and I know that's a huge favorite with the residents. Oh yeah. And then Woodland Skies did a vichyssoise. So, you know, that's another thing the residents always say. And then here, what I'm doing is I'm going to cut up some chicken. And this will go on the salad. We're going to lay it right on there. Excellent. And then the, ra the raspberry vinaigrette is the dressing of choice. Obviously, if you want a different dressing, but this is the one that I would recommend. So the dressing will be served on the side. Correct. So this is an excellent dish for those who are looking for a vegetarian choice. You, you don't have to eat the chicken. No, and that's the beautiful thing. You know, we try to incorporate a little of the signature dining into the cafe. So that's one thing that we always tell residents, we can take it off. That's the easy part. 
recreating something we don't want to get into because obviously we're doing over 2,000 meals here a day. If everybody started recreating their own entree, it would, it would just, not only would it be a little difficult in the production, but also to interfere with your dining experience. Right. So, but we never have a problem with removing something. You know, we always say, if you want the sauce on the side, if you don't want the protein with it, so it's a great salad. Wonderful salad. We look forward to having yeah, it. Yeah, and the I, cafe is one of our busiest venues here at Green Spring. It is we one of the. We serve about how many people here a day? In the cafe, at the end of the month, we probably get over 500. Every that, day. Because remember, we're not just serving residents here; right. we're serving the employees. So, and we're doing a lot of new things. We enhanced the salad bar to, you know, it's I think it's 16 to 18 items depending on the day. We've done action stations last night, and yesterday we did a stir fry action station. We know every Tuesday. That was very popular, wasn't it, Teddy? Yes. I know every Tuesday we're doing the Taco Tuesday. Wings on Wednesday, Thursday's the specialty action station, and then one of your favorites on Friday. Friday pizza. Pizza day. Yes. And we did pizza yesterday for everybody. I know you enjoyed that. So we're always trying to mix it up here in the cafe. The thing about the cafe is you kind of get the uh, of both worlds. We do have the hotline, the batch cooking that we call it, that you can come and enjoy. We also have the a la carte items that you can come up and you can order off the grill, be it the burgers, the steak and cheese, the hot dogs, the chicken sandwiches so you can come and enjoy we also have the cold sandwiches that are made and salads and go along the salad bar and you can pick and choose what you want so I, you we, mentioned it we have it. a tremendous amount of variety here at the cafe yeah. and, and a different variety at lunchtime from at dinner so we invite you to, to join us here for lunch a lot of variety at lunch that's different from what we have for dinner absolutely it's a terrific place to eat well i appreciate that yes but like i said coming after the dishwasher program which will probably be around may 15th right after mother's day you'll see some new menu items coming out here in the cafe i you know ask everybody give it a try come on down you know here's your invitation to try the new stuff at the cafe thank you and thank you for joining us today Hey, that was fun. And we look forward to seeing the Cafe Market Salad appearing there in the Absolutely. on our we're cafe gonna, menu. We're going to work that into the uh, menu, hopefully within the next week or so. And, uh, you know, we're always looking for new items. We're trying to mix up the menu. Uh, you know, and I'll be honest with you, we, we try everything. And, and, and most times, the, the residents enjoy them. At times, we have an item that we run and isn't a hit. Okay, and, and that's a, that's a uh, live and learn situation. But uh, we've introduced more carving, and I think the carving's been a big hit The carving is a big hit. And, and I think the residents enjoy that. And we try to mix that up as, as much as possible, and I think the action stations are going over well. I think the residents do enjoy now that there's more information on the weekly menu, so they see more information of what's in the cafe, and then you have something in your And hand. one thing I would like to add, and, and G, who is our manager for the, for the cafe and the fireside restaurant, you will notice on the tables in both of those venues a small card, uh, just a teeny tiny card in with the comment cards that says um, menu suggestion card. And this card is there asking you as residents what would you like to see on the menu. So if there are foods that you would like to see added to the menu, we would like to know what those are. So fill out these cards if you would like to see, for instance, bread pudding, or in my case, I would add pizza every day. Uh, put that on the card, put it in there. That's where we get suggestions. That's where Chef Michael and the team get suggestions for foods to add to our menu and put those suggestions in. These cards have been there almost a month now and G tells me that we have received very few of them so please fill out those cards put them in the comment box with the comment cards and please put them in that's where we get ideas you know if there's a theme that we haven't done you know G and I have talked about and, and Otta who's over there and Ernest talked about can we do more themes can we do a Mediterranean theme and we can do these in the cafe an Italian theme we did an Asian theme last week, and, and it went over well. Yeah. Because I know when they do it in the Jefferson, I said, well, we can do a version of it sure. in the cafe. Why not? And uh, it went over well. So we're looking at that. Like you said, suggestions. Um, if you have a thought or an idea, you know, we'd like to hear it. 
Uh, a couple things coming up this month, obviously this Friday, Cinco de Mayo. So you'll see both the Jefferson and Fireside will have menus celebrating that. Woodland Skies will have an offering in the cafe as well. We'll have Good. mirror the menu from the Fireside. We don't want to leave out our cafe friends. Heavens no. And uh, I think, you know, residents will enjoy it. And we, and here's another thing I always want to bring up. Why aren't we doing it throughout the community? And I said, well, when I first got here, the themes were community-wide. Well, if someone didn't care for that, they really didn't have a choice. So we didn't want to overload the theme. So we wanted to give a couple options if you didn't want, uh, if Cinco de Mayo wasn't your fare mm -hmm. of choice. Uh, and, and also, even in the Jefferson, there'll be enough uh, options that if you don't want Cinco de Mayo, you know, the salad bar, there's something they else always there. have the veggie option. There, there's right. always something there. And same in the cafe. Sure. You still have the always available. Now, off the, uh, what we call the home zone or, mm -hmm. or the chef's creation, you'll have the single de Mayo items, but if there's still the salad bar. There are many other things There's there still the eat. grill and the flat top. Right. So, yeah, there's a lot to eat. Uh, also coming up on May 9th, we're going to do our Mother's Day pop-up. It's going to be in the town center lobby from 12 to 4. And if you were familiar with the one we did for Valentine's Day, it's kind of similar. We're going to be doing the uh, roses, pre-selling the roses and the chocolates and also the cakes and pastries from Clements. And all the order forms are in the stores. And it says there's a wine sale also. There is a wine sale, correct. Okay. So all the order forms are in the three stores, just like we've done in the past. So you can pre-order, but you do not have to pre-order? Um, you, I, I would recommend pre-ordering. Uh, the, the Clements items, you have to pre-order. Okay. Uh, I think the chocolate shall be there, and the roses we like to pre-order because we have to order those in advance. Okay. So my advice to everybody is to pre-order. Thus way, you, you make sure that you get your items, uh, and it's easier on us to bring them in, order them, and get everything organized for Pick up and delivery. Okay, and that's the town center lower lobby. Yes, ma'am. Also on the ninth, it's butterscotch brownie day. It is. So, okay, I have a question. <laughs> A brownie to me is something that's chocolate. What makes it butterscotch? Well, you could put in butterscotch pieces. So, like mix-ins. Um, okay. We've done brownies. It's almost like when you do a brownie and you put walnuts in there, pecans, or if you want to put chocolate chips in there, or butterscotch chips. Just a little um, variety. Yeah, and to celebrate that. So, you know, these have been a big hits in the lobbies through the, oh, all the sure different have. venues. You know, what did we just do? Trail mix, we did popcorn, we did pretzels. Now we're doing butterscotch. I think we have a couple more. So we have chocolate chips. So this is another chip. one when we, we look at the schedule to figure out where where we need to be to get a brownie. Right here on. Or on, we could get some exercise and go to all three. There you go. I think that's a plan. That, that might work. And then on the uh, 15th is National Chocolate Chip Day. Does that mean we get to have bowls of chocolate chips? Of chocolate I, chocolate I don't know chip. about that. But, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll have some chocolate chip cookies or some other. Maybe, maybe uh, I, I don't want to give away anything, but we, we might do something here and there. Just Again, to something to look forward to. Absolutely. So there's, there's a lot going on in the... Uh, dining service. Um, Michael, let's do a reminder here. This is a call-in show. Absolutely. And we haven't had any calls. 703-663-3333. So I wanted to give everybody an update. Obviously, everybody knows we're in the middle of our dish project, dish machine project. How's it going? It's going well. Um, they're putting the floor down as we speak over in Fireside. And then after that, obviously when you put pour a floor, you have to let it cure. So then they'll come in and put the machine and the plumbing in. So, I, you know, right now we're on track. Um, I don't want to give a date because there's a lot of invariables that can come up that can change the date. But we look to be on track. And then when we're done in Fireside, obviously we're moving on to Woodland Skies and that'll be the end of the project. And uh, we'll bring the Chinaware back to Fireside, and we're going to bring a new menu out for the signature dining in Fireside. Let's back up to that dish machine. Is it a special floor that they put down? What they did was they it's a poured floor, and it's more of, you walk into the kitchens now, we have what we call quarry tile. Okay. And we're going away from the quarry tile and the dish machines to more of a poured floor to softer texture. It's easier to clean. It's more durable. Um, it, it's pretty much built for this kind of use. 
So pretty much we're, we're upgrading. Okay. In, in around the dish area. We put up new lighting, which is energy saving lighting. Uh, we put up new walls, which we call FRP, fire resistant paneling. Uh, it's, it's an upgrade to that. So we did floors, walls, ceilings, and the machine. Machine is an upgrade, and I know I've talked about it over and over, but you know, uh, I say it's similar to if you buy a car. You can buy a car 10 years ago, same make and model, or this year. It could be the same make and model, but it's gonna get better gas mileage. It'll be, uh, you know, it'll run better. It'll be able to do more with less. These machines can clean more dishes in a quicker allotment of time, plus they use less energy. It's going to be a savings over the long term. Oh, absolutely. You know, it uses less water, less electricity. Uh, it gets more done in the same amount of time. It's a much, it's an upgrade modernization on the machine. So, and I think it's also a win-win with your employees that they say, oh wow, you're, you know, you're getting us better stuff to do our job with. Sure. So I know walking over to Jefferson, talking to the utility staff. Are they liking the new um, machine there? They love it. Good. You know, it works well. I haven't heard anything from anybody, you know, the residents, anything about glasses or dishes. So it's doing well. That's terrific. So, but uh, yeah, a lot going on in, in, in dining. Good. Uh, uh, you know, we have we have um, signature dining. Obviously, you'll see at the beginning of the month some of the changes on the menus. The one with Fireside, since the dishwasher is changing in the middle of the month, we're going to probably make an adjustment to the menu and go with it through the rest of May and into June. Uh, and and I've talked to G and Ada, and we really want to put some new changes into the Fireside menu. Um, obviously. When the fireside menu comes out, Woodland Skies will be. Hold that thought. Okay. We have a call coming in. Absolutely. Caller, may we have your question, please? Yes, I just wanted to say this is a very interesting program. I love the demonstration of the salad, makes me want one. And first time I've really heard a good description of what's being done in the kitchens to make the, put the new dishwashers in. So it begins to make more sense about why it takes so long. So great program. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank, you, for your Thank call. you so much. Bye. As you're talking about the changes in the menu, let's, let's throw in something here and let's okay. talk about how, how, what a difference the comment cards make as you plan that menu and the importance of people turning in those comment cards. They do. The other night, at home and I'm looking at my email with the comic cards from the fireside and and you want to read them and you see you know we run some items as specials and like I said it's a great um, way to see how everything's received right we ran one item and it wasn't received very well and I know no to myself not to put that in there but also what are the residents asking for right you know so that's that's one thing that's that good. we look for we have another call okay Caller, may we have your question, please? Yes, good morning. Um, is there any reason why there's such a lack of steak or beef or something like that this, in this week's menu? I think the only thing I see is um, beef brisket. Um, I just wondered why we don't have some prime rib or steak or something, you know, good bit of beef. I don't know if that was for a particular... Uh, I, is it a particular dining room in which you're eating, ma'am? No. They haven't. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I can look over that, but I, I think if you look through all the menus every day, the variety is there. It may be a question about a particular venue, but I know that if you go throughout the venues, I know in the cafe we're carving um, either a flank or, or a brisket. I mean, I can look at the menus and, and see if there is a lack, but I know we've run the steaks over in uh, last week, Woodland Skies was running the steak, and I know we ran uh, a Chateaubriand a couple weeks ago, and then a steak, Diane, which is tenderloin. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we're, we have ribeye coming up and, and prime rib. So it goes into the, the circulation. If, if someone thinks there's a lack of it, we can look at it, you know, and, and make a, a few minor changes. But I think if you look throughout the, all the venues. I think we all we have, have our good, favorites and, and, absolutely. and things rotate. Right. And, and again, you know, this one thing when we do bring back the full signature dining menu to Fireside, we're looking at, you know, 
offering these kind of items. Obviously, people like beef, and, and we're going to look at offering, you know, prime beef items, be it on the menu or in the rotation. I know in the signature dining rotation, we have Chateaubriand, we have prime rib, we have filet mignon. Um, those are beef. We have the lamb chops. We have the pork tenderloin. So there's a lot of, there's crab cake. There's a lot of prime items in there. And that it's, we it's all a matter of preference because they're, you know, the people who are the, the prime rib people will go, oh, prime rib, you know, we'd like to have that every week. And the Gerhards come along who like their, who prefer their beef to be cooked and well done and see prime rib and go, oh my gosh, here's that raw meat again. <laughs> so it's it's all a matter of preference. It is a matter of preference. Right, so like you said, if we had pizza every night, you'd be a happy camper. I would camper. be a happy camper. Give me pizza and, and a salad and I would never ask for anything else. And I put else. pizza out there and people are like, oh, pizza. And there I'm you like, go. So we have another caller. Okay. May we have your question, please? Good morning. Hello? Hello? Yes, may we have your question? I'm sorry, there was an interruption. Um, I should have clarified when I asked about the beef, I should have specified the Jefferson restaurant menu for this week. Thank you. Definitely will look at. And, uh, the one thing with the Jefferson is every week goes on, we can make changes to it. The Je it's, it's not a set menu. Right. Um, we'll make modifications to it. And if it looks like we need to add a few more prime beef items we can add a few into the into the mix sure so it's it's something that can be easily managed and fixed right. so let's let's skip we have just a couple of minutes left let's i'm looking here at the rest of the month we have memorial day coming up here the end of the month are we Correct. going to have special hours on memorial day we are going to have special the holiday? there are going to be special hours on memorial days and those will be sent out be at channel six and the village bridge and there'll be flyers put up around the venues but there are special holiday hours for memorial days and there'll be um special we'll do a special menu usually we oh, like to do food? yeah usually we'll like to do, do a, a backyard backyard barbecue yeah. i know some people kind of but you know you'll be funny you put out hamburgers and hot dogs and barbecue chicken and everybody loves it and the yeah. only the hardest part about that is getting it all on one plate because we all want one of each thing well you know we can work something out maybe larger plates that day M maybe something like that <laughs> okay never mind and then you'll also see on mother's day we're gonna have a really nice uh menus okay and we, we suspend signature dining and i think you have special hours on mother's day yes we do 11 to 2. two correct correct and um we'll have special menus for that really nice menus we've been working on that and those will be posted shortly as well okay and we have another caller caller may we have your question or comment please? yes i was just wondering when uh the worry-free zone foods are gonna be put out that, that is something that we are currently working on as far as a set date. We haven't set one yet. We want to, you know, review all the information that we've received from the Vegetarian Coalition and also look through also what menus we have available in our database that we can utilize for this. So it's something that we are working on as far as we haven't picked a set date that we're going to go with that. We also, you know, we want to, some of the items you might see, we run a specials to, to see how they're received and how well they work in the system. But it's definitely something that we are working on. So we're, we're nearly out of time. Let's, let's just quickly say the worry-free zone foods are going to be a selection of foods in every venue that will be foods that will be clearly labeled for those who have specific dietary concerns Correct. that those people can know that they can eat those and not be concerned about their specific dietary need. Be it celiac or vegetarian, yes. uh, low sodium, right? Uh, items like that will be, you know, around four items that we will have. And this will be pertaining to Fireside and Woodland Skies. So stay tuned for more information Correct. on that. Yeah, this will be part of the signature program. Okay. Michael, thank you for joining oh, us today. It's always a pleasure. We had a good time. Yes. And we learned a lot as usual. Thank you very much. You're we'll welcome. look forward You're to welcome. seeing you again soon. Thank you so much. And we'll be back with another segment in just one moment.